Hey everybody, welcome back to Mr. Pocket's Share Test Grill Channel. I want to get you guys updated on some of the revisions and modifications in my flower room. So let's take it from the top, man. And we'll start with my box fan. This is my exhaust 20 inch fan on the top. I also have a little heater in case I need it during the winter time. You know, sometimes it does get a little chilly down here, so. I turn this heat, uh, heater on once in a while just to kind of maintain, you know, a good temperature. Uh, as far as air movement, I have this swivel fan. It's a long fan and it just swivels back and forth when I need it to. Works really, really well for air movement. I also have a secondary fan over here, Honeywell. A lot of air movement shooting down and then this one going back and forth. So exhaust and air movement is taken care of and then uh, my light fixtures these are two light fixtures that I have each one runs at 192 watts uh, they take six T8 light bulbs that are 32 watts a piece so that is it 192 watts a piece to run each fixture I was running 300 uh, watt CFLs actually it was 68 watts but I had eight of them in here and they were 500 and something watts total and so I was kind of afraid to use these lights uh, at the very beginning but after I got the 3.17 ounce um, OG Kush come out of here with the two light fixtures I was pretty happy with that so no I'm not gonna go to HPS no I'm not gonna go to metal highlight I'm kind of a CFL guy fluorescent guy and I think I'm going to maintain and stay there. Okay, and the rest of the updates. I just used to throw plants in here, you know, with the containers. Uh, so what I want to do now is I've been thinking uh, pretty hard about this for about a week or so, maybe even longer. Uh, but what I do have is a 2x4 tray. And I have some hollow bricks on the bottom that I've laid flat just to give it some elevation. Um, and uh, the plan for this is uh, I'm going to use this to flood and feed uh, my plants. I can also top feed them, but I no longer need to, you know, carry around all these trays back and forth, you know, in and out of this place. So, uh, my attempt is going to put my plants in the containers here. I can water them, or I can flood them if I want to and then it's just going to be a drain to waste and this is going to be my waste right here uh, now this hose is going to be uh, coming in from here so this will be the discharge exit hose from this tray I have my drain plug here which later on I'll drill a hole here and this will just go right in there I will hook the hose under here and what's going to happen is going to run underneath and it's going to come here just going to drill a hole and boom all my wastewater will come here I'm also going to get a grommet with another hose a level hose and uh, it'll show me not only what water level I have if I'm low or not but all I'm going to do is just turn that hose right into the waste tray and that is it then what I'll do is I'll get my pump and my pump will get connected to this line here which is my discharge line that goes seven eight feet up and it goes 18 feet across uh, to the side of the house uh, the GPH on that is 1400 so yes that's a very powerful pump 1400 gallons per hour the lift is 23 feet so there you go that is the updates for Mr. Paca five gallon tub now will remain I'm gonna keep it well, at least one DWC I like the system I tried to get away from it but you know I'm just gonna keep one of them and so uh, it's gonna be an easy discharge here easy fill because this white hose here is my plumbing that's my direct water in and the black line is my discharge out so I won't have to move anything outdoors anymore uh, I can deal with everything right in here and I'm going to continue to maintain this tray here um, with this tub and this will be you know for isolating a plant um, you know kind of trimming it up flood and feed if I need to so 
this will re remain in the uh, in the flower area. Um, as far as this racks where all my newts are at, I'm probably going to relocate that. I have a bunch of newts that I um, came into. I'm working with another distributor now. And so, um, you know, I have, uh, yeah, a lot to show you guys um, that Michael grow with that... Um, with that rock wool I did the other night was from that company and that company you guys are probably familiar with it it's called Grow More and uh, I've been using their BioStart um, you know they have tons of stuff out there they have a lot of organics they have hydroponics so I'm gonna keep you guys posted on that I've been working really closely with this manufacturer their line is wonderful it seems like they got everything covered so I'll keep you guys up to date you guys take care Mr. Buck signing off peace see ya